Welcome to the first of hopefully many new videos of Homestead Scientific we'll be making again. I'm in the process of getting a video camera, so right now uh, it'll have to be, com uh, have to be commentary. Uh, uh, but my next video should be actual video footage of the experiments. Uh, today my video is going to be on the distillation of nitric acid from Sikagard Clean and Etch. Uh, I learned of this great source of nitric acid from Miss32YT. Uh, you can check them out right here. He got his at Home Depot, so I kept my eye out for it. And when I was there, I found it on clearance for $7 a gallon. So I bought all they had. So let's get started. The first thing I did when I got the etching solution was to look up the MSDS to see what the actual acid content was in the product because on the back it said it contained phosphoric and nitric acid so the pretend, so the percent content that I saw on the MSDS was 15 to 35 percent so I knew that one gallon would give me a theoretical yield of at least 580 milliliters uh, multiply that by the four gallons that I had and that's approximately 2.3 liters of nitric acid for twenty dollars plus the cost of heating so that's not too bad I started by uh, putting 1,000 milliliters of acid in a standard distillation setup and began heating in an oil bath. When I began heating to a boil, when it hit the 110 degree mark, it started to profusely foam up. So I let it foam up until the foaming slowed down and stopped bubbling in my condenser. Uh, as you can see, after the foam, cal foam calmed down, I released the thermometer top to my condenser to release the pressure so it would boil quicker. Boiling down the acid completely uh, took about two and a half hours uh, for the foaming to subside. Uh, after the foaming calmed down, I swapped the apparatus for clean glass and watched the temperature. Once the temperature reached 121 degrees and I noticed nitrogen dioxide gas in the apparatus, I put a clean beaker under the condenser and began to collect the acid. After about five minutes, I checked the acid with a pipette gun on a penny to test its strength. It was still relatively weak. It really didn't react with the penny much. Uh, so I let it go for a while longer. After 30 minutes, I tested it again with the pipette gun and the acid was, not, was uh, now much stronger and uh, a bit vigorous with its reaction. Uh, definitely started to react with the penny. Uh, after an hour of distilling the nitric acid, uh, I tested it again, and the reaction seemed to be at full strength and it reacted very quickly. It uh, dissolved the penny very fast. Um, after about five hours total of distilling, uh, I was left with 150 milliliters of 70% nitric acid, which corresponds to 15% uh, of the total weight which corresponds to the MSDS sheet. It was the lower end, so I was a little disappointed, but the numbers lined up so I knew that I was in the right area. Uh, I placed it in a glass tinted bottle, and after I collect a sufficient amount, I'm going to concentrate it to uh, 90 plus percent, and I'll probably release a video on that as well. I want to thank you for uh, watching my video. I hope to get better at narrating as time goes on. I would also like to thank Miss32YT for inspiring me to make this video. Uh, I refine silver and I'm always needing nitric acid and this is a good source to last me for a while. Maybe I'll even make a video on how to refine silver. Um, since it was my first project in my new lab, I figured I would do a quick video on it even though it was already done. If you have any suggestions for future videos that I haven't done, uh, please send me a message or leave me a comment, and I'll try to get back to you with it when I can. Uh, thanks. Oh, and P.S. My scale offer on my YouTube channel is still valid. I'll be giving away that scale if I can reach a thousand subscribers. I'll let them going to be a lot more active. Also, uh, my inactivity was due to the fact that I couldn't log into my YouTube account. So it was between work and my YouTube account problems. So anybody who left me a comment, who subscribed to me, and I never got back to your comment, I'm sorry. 
I couldn't log into my account for quite a while. So, thanks, and have a good evening.